So a couple of days ago now, I received an email simply titled Call of Duty Guerrilla Warfare and in this video I want to talk about this subject because I believe that it's something that we're going to see towards the end of 2017, of course released by Sledgehammer Games. Now I'm not going to use this email as evidence to support a potential leak or anything like that, I don't really know the credibility of the source so I'm not going to quote it. In this video, I want to maintain my credibility. Of course, if this does come true at a later date, I'll use this source in future. I'll try and get some more information for you guys. But instead, we're going to be taking more of a sit back and more of a speculative type of approach to this idea because I definitely think that Call of Duty Guerrilla Warfare is by far one of the most likely titles that Sledgehammer Games will release for a number of reasons. Probably the biggest reason is the fact that a lot of people have speculated that we will be getting a Vietnam Call of Duty title this year. Of course, Sledgehammer Games have worked on a Call of Duty title. It was a third-person Call of Duty title that was based in Vietnam, and that was called Fog of War, or it was codenamed Fog of War. Unfortunately, that game was cancelled because the team had to work on finishing Modern Warfare 3 because, of course, the original Infinity War team actually left the studio to form Respawn Entertainment, and they are now working working on the Titanfall series and all this just meant that Fog of War was indeed cancelled but Sledgehammer Games, the developers, still have all of that knowledge, all of the knowledge that they need to know on the Vietnam War in their computers, in their minds and I think that this is something that they're going to use moving forward with their title of course released in 2017. Now in terms of Guerrilla Warfare this is by far one of the biggest points for me and it's the fact that it ties in very nicely with the theme with the branding that a lot of Call of Duty titles currently have. Of course we've got Modern Warfare that is a trilogy that has sold tremendously well. Then we've got Advanced Warfare and then we've also got Infinite Warfare. Now apart from Treyarch Games this is branded we've seen from Sledgehammer Games and Infinity Ward and all of this is in plan with Activision's marketing for Call of Duty titles. Now I believe that you know, the developers have probably pitched the ideas for the actual names of the Call of Duty titles, but it's ultimately down to Activision on what they want to call it, what they want to market it as, and I think that Call of Duty Guerrilla Warfare will appeal to Activision more than any other title. I'm trying to think of any possible other titles that would fit in with the Warfare theme and the war Warfare uh, uh, marketing and branding, but I just really can't think of anything that would fit in better than Call of Duty Guerrilla Warfare. Now, as well as this, it's also going to appeal to a lot of people because it's going to confirm that, yes, Boots is on the ground. It will be returning to traditional combat. Of course, we know Call of Duty 2017 will be returning to traditional combat because that was confirmed in Activision's Q4 earnings call a couple of months ago, and that is great news for the Call of Duty franchise as a whole because it means that hopefully a lot of players will be coming back to the franchise and once again Call of Duty will take that throne of being the top FPS game. Now, Call of Duty Guerrilla Warfare will appeal to a lot of people for a lot of different reasons, but I think that this would make for a tremendous game because it's going to add a whole brand new element to a Call of Duty title. Guerrilla Warfare is it's gritty, it's dirty, it's... Um, very, very, I would say, hardcore in the sense that people will do whatever they can in order to kill or slow down enemy forces. And we've seen this within the Vietnam War. This all ties in very perfectly together because guerrilla warfare played a massive role within the Vietnam War because, of course, the Viet Cong used things such as booby traps, landmines, anything you can think of in order to slow and kill off enemy forces. And it's been very well well documented in history that uh, the Viet Cong used a lot of animal traps that were supersized in order to slow down 
uh, American forces. And interestingly, what these traps were designed for is that they was not designed to actually kill enemy forces, but in fact they was uh, designed to slow down enemies by injuring them. They covered the traps in feces, uh, there was a lot of uh, spikes and stuff like that covered in feces, and what this would do is it would impale an, a soldier, and essentially it would mean that the whole troop, the whole platoon, could be slowed down because they needed to aid and carry that soldier, and in general, yes, that soldier would have died off eventually, but it would have took a matter of two, three, maybe even four weeks until that soldier died and all of this would make for a very interesting Call of Duty title in my opinion because it's something that we've never really seen. Of course Black Ops 1 did dive into Vietnam uh, occasionally through the campaign but we've never seen a fully fledged campaign in Vietnam and I think that there is a market for it also within the FPS scene. At this moment in time FPS titles are oversaturated with futuristic shooters. Of course we've got Battlefield Field uh, 1, which is a World War 1 Call of Duty title. We've also got a few World War 2 Call of Duty titles releasing this year as well, such as Battalion 1944, and I think that Call of Duty can find a very interesting niche within the market at the moment by releasing a Vietnam title, because I think there is only one Vietnam title releasing this year, and it's not going to be a big contender to go up against Call of Duty, and, you know, Activision will know these kinds of things with marketing, with future titles of other companies and stuff like that so I think that overall this is something that is probably the most likely title to release Call of Duty Guerrilla Warfare it all ties in nicely with the Vietnam War stuff of course Sledgehammer Games have researched that war pretty extensively because by the time Fog of War was cancelled there was already 15 minutes of full gameplay now I'm not entirely sure on the development process of games but I would imagine that this did take a lot of time and a lot of research and it would indicate that the game was possibly quite well in its development stages but anyway guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of course do not take this as a leaked video take it as more speculation if this does end up being true then well i will use this source moving forward throughout the release or throughout the, the year until the release of call of duty 2017 hopefully titled call of duty guerrilla warfare but anyway guys that has been watching from me i belong to station thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video